Hello, 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 and welcome back once again to another Destiny 2 video. We're gonna work on Curse of Osiris, and as I promised, and before it gets content locked, uh, I was a little disappointed, as you may have t seen back in the last episode when we just finished War Mine within two episodes. I'm a little depressed about that. <laughs> but I'm not going to talk about that anymore. I've already said enough. Uh, again, I have Robert here. Hold on, I'm still texting my mom. <laughs> she says, um, chicken or. Is that permit? I can't tell if that's autocorrect or not. Hold on, give me a sec. <laughs> okay, we're good. What did I miss? Oh. <laughs> well, nice little uh, catch you had there. I wasn't thank expecting you. that. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, I was trying to turn it into a joke last video, but somebody thought I was actually texting my mother, and I was like, "Well, like, I got, I need to do a little callback." Here we go. Oh, is that so? Yeah, I don't actually text my mom. She's like <laughs> literally 15 feet away from me. Like, uh, who knows? She could have been at the store this time of time of night. <laughs> this, uh, this time of night. Um, uh, she, uh, I, I think she doesn't leave the house after six. So. I, uh, I think I'm good there. <laughs> all right, all right. I think we got that straightened out now. <laughs> totally wasn't your mother. It was just, a, you know, it was your invisible friend. Yeah, um, um, John the body snatcher. Yeah. Who you call my your body mother. snatcher? Yeah, who who I call my mother. You know, he just, he, you know, you right? dork. <laughs> <laughs> He okay. makes me feel normal. It's okay. <laughs> okay, let's get this show on the road. So, legacy, Curse of Osiris. Uncover the true story of the greatest warlock who ever lived, unravel the mystery of the infinite forest, and stop the Vex from ushering in a dark future where only they remain. All right. Custom job. All I will yeah. say is whoever came up with that mission start, description right? never met me, but it's okay. No hard feelings. <laughs> understand? <laughs> yeah, the gateway. Alright, uh, where do we find the gateway? Vex stir on Mercury and legendary outcast Osiris is involved. Head to the lighthouse to investigate. Right. Oh, we're going to meet an interesting character. Uh, let's see. Field class, Mercury. The gateway. Alright. Let's head inside. Scheme is key. I hope. Curse of Osiris is a little more drawn out. I don't remember. All I remember is the ride. I, I have nostalgia when the glasses Red Legion on. Attacked, it almost cost us everything. It took a miracle to save us. The awakening of the Traveler. This is our new beginning. The maps are blank. The rules are are gone. All we know is we must become more than what we were. This small corner of the cosmos is the only place that is forever ours. And the universe watches us with envious eyes. We've proven we can fight threats from beyond the stars. But now there are things stirring beneath our feet, provoked by the Traveler's light. Our war is just beginning. Ooh. It's just beginning, my friend. Um, my question is, why didn't we immediately get rid of this giant solar weapon in the sky? You know, the thing that could, <laughs> I, I don't know, destroy our solar system? We just left that hanging around after the Red War? Okay. Ominous rocks 
molecular robots, people in mortal danger. Seriously, aren't you tired of this? Fatigue is a distraction from our purpose. As are complaints. Oh, I haven't begun to complain yet. Ouch! Ugh. Now I'm complaining. Focus, Sagira. But you should run into that laser. Reach for the sky, big guy. Myself. Need help? Again? I've got it, thank you. That crazy cat's my stuff over again. Well? Osiris? What, what did you see? Slow down. Wait. I thought I... Oh, shh. You know, I can't help but notice that even with all of reality to explore, you keep picking the places where they shoot at us. We can't stay here. If the Vex succeed, it's the end of everything. Sakura, we can see your light. You have to go. Nope, not leaving you. Without me, there's no coming back. If I don't stop the Vex, there won't be anything to come back to. I'm doing this for the both of us. Don't you even... <laughs> Takes his own ghost like a freaking pinball. Just yoink. All right. Another grand entrance. Let's hope it lasts. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot to mention about Forsaken before we get to Shadowkeep, but I'm sure Forsaken <laughs> and Shadowkeep are going to be far more expansive. They're beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. You've played it before I have, so you already know it. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything! Nothing. <laughs> Guardian, thank you for coming. There's been a development on Mercury. Strange reports from the cultists clinging to what's left of the planet. Normally, I'd ignore their conspiracy theories. But one of my hidden brought me. This. A dead ghost? She's not dead. Her name is Sagira. I've known her a very long time. And her guardian. Osiris. The Osiris? The most powerful guardian ever. The hero of six fronts. The Zavala before Zavala? Zavala wouldn't like to hear you call him that. <laughs> most guardians won't even speak Osiris' name. He was the only vanguard commander ever exiled from the city. And the man who taught me what it means to be a warlock. We found Sagira on Mercury, and at the same time, Vex activity there surged exponentially. And you think Osiris might be involved? I need to know what happened, even if the Vanguard wants to forget him. When I lost my light, I didn't have anything else. I was empty then you came to Io and you helped me find my way back I need that friend again guardian go to Mercury take Sagira with you the followers of Osiris the few who remain might know what her presence means and for now let's keep this between us
I'd hate to have to throw you off this wall. Oh, please. Um, that was a <laughs> joke, right? That was a joke. I'd hate to have to throw you off this wall. Uh, <laughs> Jack would just be all like, I'm gonna miss my way up there. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I'd stand there and I'd be like, Look, that was painful enough. You don't have to do it again. <laughs> Honestly, I'd just be happy she acknowledged my presence. I'm like, <laughs> The Great Warlock Vanguard. Well, the fact is, if you did it, tosses you off, you spawn back, because, of course, you're a guardian. You go, Okay, okay, you don't have to do it twice. I felt, I felt how the feels to fall off a cliff. The Mercury into a garden <laughs> world. It was a paradise until the Vex came. The Vex replaced the planet's core with their own machines. We call it the Infinite Forest, an ever-expanding labyrinth of realities. No two paths are ever the same. No one has ever escaped. It was Osiris's obsession. Well, I believe that. I love Osiris's voice after you. Welcome to Mercury, Guardian. Got a good voice. The science Osiris. told me you would come. Yeah. What a coincidence. We follow the signs here, too. And by signs, I mean facts. That, too, is a sign. I am Brother Vance of the followers of Osiris, Keeper of the Lighthouse, and Oracle of the Lost Prophecies. Looks so epic on the intro. Oh, yeah. I mean, I obviously look cooler than you, but it's okay. Oh, you also can have your spotlight. That, that crushes me. <laughs> <laughs> that hurts so, so much. Oh. <sighs> Spare me. One thing I don't like about um, Mercury is that you cannot use your sparrow here. There is a Vex gateway near ah, your location. That happens. Osiris spent years studying it. He was convinced it was the door to the infinite forest. If it is still possible to find Osiris, we need to open that door. I call her Wee! Osiris is Yeehaw, cowboy! Brother Vance. Oh, hello. Osiris is greatest fan. Oh, we're not going this way. Never mind. <laughs> Stuff disappearing. <laughs> no. I'm a Gucci fan. I know what that means. It means I go splat. You go and splat, go bye -bye. and I go dance. <laughs> I just dance over your ghost, you know, just being like, yo, what's up, fam? <laughs> yo, what's up? Whee! I love the jump pads. Smooth. It was an interesting addition, although I remember when they first released, there was problems with people dying on them, especially <laughs> with the the strikes that were released, so... Uh, uh, yeah, I bet they were pretty uh, unpredictable at first, first time. You know, they probably weren't uh, locked by a track. Oh, okay, that was unpredictable. <laughs> that was... Uh, that was interesting. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were a Vex. I tried to melee you, so I threw a knife instead, and somehow still landed it on a target to my left. Hey. That's pretty good. Such a series of events. <laughs> I was trying to get two of them with the same grenade. That didn't work out. I didn't do that. You totally did that. <laughs> that that wasn't me, that was my, my twin brother, Bob. His most Wait, faithful do you have a Bob? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he died, but we had a Bob. I'm surprised how well oh my. Bob 2.0. That's tragic. The are at my door. Osiris has not yeah, no. I think, uh... Faith is all uh I, have left. I was there when they I placed the iron down to forest, make him. I was so disappointed. From which no so sad. Well, tributes to not Bob. 2.0. That iron golem will be missed. Uh, I tell you what, Arl Craft is a beast. <laughs> yeah. However, while you guys were away, we haven't seen you on in a while. Uh, yeah. We've been off killing dragons. 
Yeah, um, Brianna and I decided that RL Craft was a little too hardcore for us. Like, oh, really? Yeah, I mean, it was fun the first couple of times, but I mean, once, like, I have good stuff, I die, I lose the good stuff, I have to make the good stuff again. The process repeats, and after a while, it's like, what's even the point of making new stuff? Question. Like, oh, the point is, is to get up to a point of survivability. That's really all there is to it. Yeah, maybe I'll hop on eventually, but right now, I, I think it's a little, a little too uh, stressful well, for me right now. I'm That's ready if you are. It's not for everybody. You ski, ski. How do we get in here? Oh, yeah, that's right. We need a. Yep. We can't get through. If Osiris's ghost were awake, then maybe she could help. Osiris, preserve us. You have his ghost, Sagira. Please, please bring her to me. Peace. <laughs> He's like, I beg of you, please. Oh, this is my time to shine, folks. My time to shine. Pull up my not so functional singing voice. <laughs> I don't think anyone He's in our friend group has a functional singing voice. Oh, actually, I take that back. Dax is pretty good. Um, I'm sorry, Robert. Are you discounting yourself? Um, I don't sing. I don't know what you're talking about. Boy! <laughs> Give me some of them tunes. Come on. Um. Wherefore art thou something something? I don't remember the you, song. You you ain't giving that singing voice. <laughs> You're discounting I, yourself. I don't singing voice. I don't come out. Listen, I've only sung twice in my life, right? Once when I was born in lies. the Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> you, you spout lies, my friend. What? I would. I, I listen. Listen. I would never lie. Lying is detestable. I hate it. <laughs> Why can't I not see? There's like so much haze on my screen. It's the cover of Sarcasm. Oh, I didn't. I just not released these are Descent Vex. Eski. Descendants. Descendant. Yeah, that's what I said. I was just testing. Oh, hello. Come here. I, I just, I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I right, can talk. Has been blown. Vex from different timelines are converging on Mercury. That's bad. Thank you. I don't know what I would have done if Osiris hadn't sent you to me. In return, the followers of Osiris can help you revive his ghost. We have a hidden temple on Earth. Take Sagira to. to these coordinates. I will notify the followers that you are coming. Now that the lighthouse is safe, we can prepare for Osiris's return. All of the lost prophecies are coming to pass. I'm there finally go. going, going to meet Osiris. Pretty. Oh, amazing. Beautiful. Looks nice like the planet's coming apart, but beautiful. But doesn't give you anxiety just looking at that. Nah. The planet's coming apart. What you mean? <laughs> uh, the planet's already torn apart. That's the problem. <laughs> and that's fair. <laughs> it doesn't give me any more anxiety if it ain't gonna get even more ripped apart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where to next? What's it say? Brother Vance says there's a temple of Osiris in the EZ where you revive Sagira. A deadly trial completed. Alright. A deadly trial. Campaign. European Dead Zone. Yep. Alright, same stuff. Well, let's bounce in. Ski ski. Man, I've missed Destiny so much. <laughs> so much. You haven't played it in a while. Except for yeah. season based things. Yeah, um, f uh, for those who might be asking questions, which is nobody, but I love talking about myself, um, I was completely enthralled in Shadowkeep in the new season, and I was, like, working my butt off the first couple of months. I got up to, I think, rank 80, a full, um, month and a half before the season was over, which is nothing special, because, I mean, like, if, if you play Destiny regularly, you'll get it done before it even gets towards the end. 
but um, I stopped playing because I got other games like Star Citizen. That was low-key a mistake, but it's okay because a new update's coming. Hopefully, it'll make things more stable. Also, Master Chief Collection was pretty dope, and... Uh, the coordinates I, Brother Vance gave us are just beyond the village. Hawthorne scouts served that area either. in the Red War. Oh, well, I just don't want to talk no over uh, Brother Vance. Just he might get a little uh, pricky about it. Prickly, little not pricky, prickly. Um, but... Yeah, so I, I, the entire time that I had left, I was like, oh, I'll be fine. I'm at rank 85. It'll be no time to finish it. Well, I went from uh, rank 85 in plenty of time to being rank 85 and having a week left. So I was like, well, time to crack down on this. And uh, it was pretty easy. I'd say. Oh, did you just, you just, you want to go? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Your encounter, huh? Yeah, you know, I saw my life flash before my eyes. Yes. Explain to me why it was just a bag of Cheetos every single time. Oh, never mind. I think I need to die. Okay, I'm gonna die. To Remember me. Segura. Remember, we're good. We're, we're good. I'm just toasty. Roasty and toasty. Roasty and toasty. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Oh, boy. Please don't kill me. <sighs> Please don't kill <laughs> <for days>. me. <laughs> Me to literally anything. Please don't kill me. I'll do your taxes for you. Also, me die every time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do your taxes for you. Just don't kill me. Okay. Exactly. I've got money. See. Exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm an accounting student. No, I'm not, but well, I don't know that. That's one way to kill enemies. That's interesting. I see you. Oh, hello, buddy. Boom, boom, boom. This thing does some pretty hefty damage. Woo! He was any flying. That was all you. GG, my guy. I'm sorry. I saw you standing on top of that thing. Yeah, but I was, like, poking it with a stick. You are bringing the heavy artillery. I see you, my guy. It's a form of I artillery. I feel bad for anyone who has to <laughs> live out here. Osiris would say it's a trial. If his followers can't survive here, they aren't worthy to begin with. Wow. Ouch. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, do you even Osiris. Care? Dang, I know, right? It's like, Osiris, come on, bro. What do you, like... I get your stuff's hardcore, but really? Really? I, now I wonder how Brother Vant... Never mind, Brother Vant's biggest fan, I take it back. <laughs> biggest fan. Sorry, I mean most devoted follower. My bad. Sorry, sorry. I, I forgot there's a difference there. Indefinitely most devoted. Indubitably. Um, I was nowhere near those those trip mines. I just want to make that clear. Uh, Watch the Instagram play. Nowhere near them. Just saying, like this game just hates me for some reason. Oh, I completely forgot that dismount is jump. <laughs> I'm so used oh, to it? Halo controls. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, okay, so they're, okay, never mind. They're proximity mines, that's weird. Apparently. Maybe, I was like maybe. trying to revive you, but then I completely forgot. It's not the use key anymore, it's the jump key to dismount. When you play oh, a little yeah. too much, Halo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, everybody. Welcome to Minecraft. It really is just a you will die your first day. And the fallen got here first. Or not. Oh. That's well, like, what welcome to RL Craft. <laughs> RL Craft, where the game makes you rage so hard, you wonder if you should play Dark Souls instead. <laughs> ah, I've never even played Dark Souls, but I know how much pain people go through. <laughs> My, uh. It's, I want to say it's not terrible, but at the same time, I haven't touched it since I last rage quit, so, like... Ah! Oh! Although, so to be fair, say. I rage quit when my, uh, uh, my brother and I got invaded by this uh, weird... I don't remember what his name was, but he pretty much ganked both of us. Yeah, that's part oh, of the hardcore. Yeah, I was like, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Ammo. I just missed all four shots, you kidding? No. Oh. It's fine. It's fine. This game is this 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 game is uh, making me realize that down through the sometime. elevator. Oh, okay. I really wish they had like more climby parkour features in this game. I do. I mean, they have a decent amount when it comes to 
story, I would probably think. Don't they? The followers. Um, mm, sort of. I mean, like, I want more stuff for like you have to like like on Mars. There's this elevator shaft that you can kind of like walk and climb up, and by climbing, like you, your character can actually like grab ledges and pull himself up. Right. And I think before. Destiny would be really cool. Too. I mean, they're obviously not gonna add anything like that because the game's too big. Wait, or, uh, I mean, neither are they that cool. But uh, what yeah. is going on? Hey, Sigura, welcome back. Was that my ghost, Nani? Whoa, new show. Who? Did you actually just put me in a strange machine you've never seen before? Who does that? Who does that? Sigura. Ikora. Great. Glad you're still around. Look, we've got to move right now. Osiris is in over his head as usual, and I need to. Wait, where are we? Who are you? Oh, never mind. We've got to get to Mercury. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> and don't worry about your ghost. We're sharing right now. He'll be back. It just gave me an umbral end grant. We should redo all of the all of the everything. We're redoing everything. Redoing? What do you mean? Um, I'm doing all of the stories with you. I'm even going to redo the Red Legion. If I can get an Umbral Endgame, I don't even know. No, no, that's the the Drifter. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's like a one-time Endgame. I'm not sure. Who knows? So, uh, I'd say we've got room for one more before I say yeah. quits. Yeah, we'll be fine. All right. Beyond Infinity. It's time to enter the Infinite Forest and find Osiris. Be prepared for anything. All right, let's go. Except if he's dead, because that would, you know, break the multiverse and everything. <laughs> uh, that wouldn't explain... That would break a lot of things with the event that had passed a few seasons ago. Oh, the save Saint-14. Yeah, I remember. I, I, I heard about it. I never played it. But... Yeah, Osiris was there. There was a big event going on. Played a little bit of it, not too much, but that's how I got the. You know, I was given like 500 silver, so I went ahead and got the season pass for basically half off at that Osiris point. Osiris saw something in the infinite forest, and it terrified him. Nothing terrifies him. I'm gonna switch back to We need to find him. Osiris could be anywhere. Put in the wrong coordinates, and you'll never find your way out. I know I can do it. Osiris is in there protecting the rest of us from the Vex. He needs us. He needs me. And we're going to find him. Damn straight. <laughs> I'm waiting for Ghost to pop in, being like, hey! Ah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> get out of me! My <laughs> I don't know if you remember doing the, uh, that one in special dungeon, I think you had it, you'll... Oh, Shadow of Throne? It's, it's that one dungeon, I think it is a dungeon, it's the one that gives you the, uh, heavy sniper rifle. Oh, Whisper of the Worm. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. That it was a pretty a good puzzle, I mean... Yeah. Oh, that was fun. See, that I, I like stuff like that. That's the kind of fun. Of the forest yeah. To his own purposes, we're going to run into yeah. his reflections. Yeah, I, my of um, my brother Jack, he plays this game a lot. Why am I explaining this? He's literally been in your videos. Never mind. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> he um, he was like, "Hey, do you want to go get a really easy exotic?" I was like, "Yeah, sure." Well, should he said would have taken us fifteen minutes. It actually, took us like an hour. Yep. But uh, it was still fun. Still fun. I appreciated it. It just took a number of tries. Cyrus has to be here somewhere. Oh, did I just go the right way? I did not. Nope. You just screwed the pooch on your up there, bud. You should be. Oh, 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 oh I almost made it. That's Goodbye. fine. That's fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> I was just waiting oh, for you to go. Oh, Cardi Ben. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Okay. I feel that way about you too, buddy. He's okay. grumpy. He loves. Yeah, to his be grumpy. Papa's missing. That's why. Papa Osiris. 
Sagira has returned. Am I mean just catching up? I will away for your own safety. Your presence here puts everything at risk. Well, guess what? Ouch. He needs me. Wait, don't tell me I see it. No timelines are expanded. We must create reflections to explore them. Interesting how his duplicates just communicate with each other. Yeah, and they just, you know. It's almost too late. Days. Okay. Or, or how, a clone? Yeah, clone. It's like, <laughs> let me just. Sounds like a lightsaber action. No, I'm thinking about it. Pew, 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 pew. That's hey, how it like. Osiris, my guy. What's up? What's good? Heard a lot about you. Um, heard you took my uh, my title as greatest warlock of all time. It's okay. No hard feelings. Someone's got to do it. And I don't like the spotlight, so it's okay. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Combine's like, oh, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, spotlight is your middle name, buddy. Everybody likes a spotlight event. <laughs> Something must have gone. time I like spotlights. Is, you um, seem to be consuming it all right now. <laughs> listen, listen. Only time I like to spotlight, right, is when somebody challenges my record to be able to eat a hot dog in five seconds. You cannot go Wait, to did say hot dog. Five yeah, seconds. Yeah, five seconds. Mm-hmm. What did he find? Okay. What's so bad that it could? I mean, you'll never know if that's actually legit or not. Oh, I mean, right. The infinite forest. I think we just skipped like a whole bunch of dialogue right here. Simulating trillions of uh, realities in parallel. Actually, I went through that dialogue. All geared towards a single oh, okay. purpose. Oh, no, just, okay, I see you. Ski, ski, let's go! Woo! The Vex are simulating reality in here, root forcing the future. Saw, <laughs> dudes! <laughs> how you been? Just love how overly strong. These weighted throwing knives are. The fact that I have a second charge just makes it even more powerful. Yeah, I feel that. That's why I kind of like the hunter class. They're a little, uh, I don't want to say overpowered because, you know, they've got their downsides as does every class, but they're nimble and fun to play. I guess you could say they're a little more balanced, really. Yeah. That actually, yeah, that is a perfect way to describe them. Because you've got the warlock, which... They can, well, they're not exactly squishy because everybody has the same amount of health, I assume. I don't know about that. I would like to imagine Titan, well, yeah, yeah, they probably do for P P like PvP purposes. Yeah, yeah because you've got Warlocks who have this stupid Void Ball that just destroys absolutely everything. And they don't really have to aim, they just kind of like, look at direction, cast, all right, goodbye. Yeah, no, that looks good enough. <laughs> <laughs> but then you've got hunters who do have a really strong ability, but they have to put a little skill into it to, to actually pull it off. You know, like the revolver. You, you have to aim for the head in order for it to work effectively. Or the weighted knife. Right. You gotta aim and arc it just right if you're gonna pull off a long shot. You know? in, in fact, you can even bounce it off surfaces. To get some trick shots, in, so I mean, in that sense, I think it's balanced because it requires right. an amount of skill to use right. for I a feel like, reward. Um, the warlock, the the void bomb, and the storm caller, and the middle tea tree storm caller, what it's called, are some of the most useful PvP. Eliminate the demon, the PvP classes, the thingies, door weapons, you know what I mean. Right. Because, I mean, what is it called? Chaos Reach, there we go. Chaos Reach can literally, like, hit somebody from halfway across the map. And it, it, it is pretty powerful. I mean, like, we've done some stuff in uh, the Crucible where we would, you know, just play with alts only. And right. Chaos Reach is really OP. It really is. Really I mean, OP. Remember Gambit? <laughs> we did nothing but void orbs because we knew it's just the fastest way to destroy the freaking primeval. Yeah. I mean, two orbs basically killed it. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, yeah, yeah, when Z yeah, yeah. And Zach and I were just hammering that thing. Oh, my goodness. Fun times. I I played a lot of Warlock back then. I went back to my home because of the way to nice. I'll show you where it all began. Yeah. 
Like that to him. Mercury. I deny myself like ago, playing the, the middle of the fire class. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, oh, it's so here the Vex planted the seed that became the infinite forest. And it's mine. Panoptes. Panoptes has a single purpose. Reshape reality for the Vex. And only the Vex. Only the Vex. All this started with a single Vex. Will it end with the arrival of a single Guardian? Yeah, we're special. Hell yeah! Now I see why he's made so many new reflections. Yes, we've tried and failed to prevent this outcome. Now even our best efforts only slow it. But you must see for yourself. Tell me, Guardian, were you there when the Traveler walked? Sorry, wouldn't she already know Living all of this? Changes everything. Actually, no, never mind. Never mind. Good. She's a ghost and no, limited information in as much as anybody else would, but has the capacity to remember it on a dime. You know, I was gonna say, um, even though she's been with him, I think maybe this is like the new information he saw through the 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 portal. Why am I having a like? Why is my brain dying? Our brain is dying just because of. <laughs> of, of the time tonight, you know, it's like, it's already midnight here, so. Yeah. My brain was already dying before I started recording. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. I'm okay, behind you. This feels just like, uh, the strike, but only a little different. Oh, you're gonna get the strike eventually. Just like in uh, Warmind. Yeah. I feel like my aim is slightly off. Yeah, mine too. It's okay though. We'll still make it work. I mean, these enemies aren't hard enough to make it a big problem. I just noticed some of my bullets are slipping to the side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm like, yeah. I've got lazy eye going on, I guess. It's like, uh. <laughs> The lazy eye where your eyes are lazy, not the actual Must lazy eye. You know, right, 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 exactly. <laughs> I but used to have lazy discovered eye. The timeline where we succeed. Oh, really? Yep, I was born with this it. Is what I got fixed. Like when we fail. <laughs> you got fixed. This so did my dog. I'm just kidding. I ah! dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a comeback. The lighthouse. This oh, is light what Osiris saw. Neither oh, light nor no. darkness exists anymore. The sun's warmth is gone. All light. This is lost. actually really interesting. Like I would like to play in like a universe like this, just that for a little bit. You. Right. You are the key. Except you I actually I take it back. Probably couldn't live Every if there was no warmth from the sun. Leads here. No, not unless you're to prevent this dark suit future. systems kept you warm. Life That's support. Panoptes, he's found us. Hey, I want to fight that thing. I want to fight that this way. You want to fight him? Let's go. Come on, let's fight. Let's fight right now. Let's go. No. You're more important than any of us now. Oh, oh but I want to This is bad. Really, really Anyone bad. else they see something like that? Oh, we need to run. We need Combat. To He's like, ah, all I can us. take him. You, me, Osiris, <laughs> but my bullets are doing nothing. If we don't stop Panoptes, ah, just, 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 you just need to try a little harder. You think uh, my gun can try any harder than it's capable of? Is your gun not mine? How would I know? So, did your gun do anything? You just left. Uh, uh that's my business, not yours. Uh-huh. 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 Oh, I do what I do best. Wait a minute, we gotta speak to Cora Ray now. Ski ski. Who's messaging me? Alright, we'll head to the tower. Alright. 
and then I'm gonna yeet out of here. Either that, or we consider doing one more just to see if that would that be the last of it. I mean, depending. I uh, I think there's two more, mm. two or three more, something like that. So it's a little it's a little short. Okay. So we'll speak to Corve, see what happens. Gotcha. Then we'll go off of that. It's already 40 minutes, so. <sighs> yeah. I want to get back to a scrap mechanic, but I've been wanting to get, you know, Destiny out of the way. I just haven't been doing Destiny. <clears throat> so I want to be sure to get some of this stuff released and maybe do some more scrap mechanic. I would say before you decide that, I mean... Shadow Keep is gonna be where you leave it off. I mean, the new. I'm trying to say this without any spoilers. I, I know that they have a whole bunch of other DLC. It's a consideration that is possible to make. It's just personally, right. I'm not as dedicated to Destiny as some other games that I like to play. Destiny is fun when you're doing raids and such and something crazy right but it's like I can keep going with the story but is it something that I particularly enjoy long term I understand that I got you I can't keep myself going grinding out gear because I just there's nothing for there for me to enjoy particularly grinding out gear that's always the same there's really nothing different and there's no way I'm sure there are some long term goals but personally I'm not feeling it for this game I've, I got I've got Guild Wars 2 that I'm already working on I've got legendaries I'm working on in that game and even then I'm starting to dwindle down on some of that stuff because grind depending on the kind of grind the game provides it it can kind of harm or uh, improve the game experience so in Guild Wars 2 it's it's got a great it's a great game especially if you're new because you have plenty plenty to do it's just you've played it for I've played it for six years and making legendaries in there I've done nothing but go around gathering material or endlessly killing the same mobs over and over again to hopefully get the materials I need and it's the same stuff over and over and over again until I get it done so it's like eh, you know it's boring in the end it's rewarding but for how long is that rewarding? It better not be important. Right. Yeah, I get that. So, it I feel the same way here. Once I get the exotic, it's awesome. It's great. It's rewarding. Then it's like, eh, it doesn't last. Right. Because I have all these other favorite weapons I also like to use, which can be better than that exotic, or you know, can be on par with something, so it can be kind of lackluster. I mean, some weapons can be really good, and it lasts for a good amount of time. It's just, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's just personally, I think the game's got good story content. The game's got some fun weapons to use, but I think the grind is just... It's just not enjoyable. I understand so, that. That's yeah. why I'm always, you know, I'm always careful about the steps I'm taking. So if what I go proceed with new DLC, I could probably enjoy that. 
but the do I enjoy this game more than I do this game? You know? My bones. Yeah, I understand. I can so. only imagine. I still haven't even. When it woke up. I've I've got all the video I need for Black Mesa. You know, I still haven't posted that stuff. So you can see that if I put more on my plate that I probably promise, then it's just more stuff that I have to obligate myself to do when what I probably don't enjoy it as much as I think I do. You know? Right. Even so far from the moon. I swear. Destiny is fun, but up to a certain limit. Can't you? I enjoy survival games a lot. I enjoy games where you do uh, management. You know, recently RimWorld has been piquing my attention. Not that I've actually played it yet, but RimWorld looks pretty fun. Uh, scrap mechanic is fun because you're creative. You get to build your own little craft, you know, and you survive. It's simple. It's not too We have to get inside that pyramid. No matter what danger awaits us. Destiny is good for its story content. I think that's as far as it goes for me. I got the raids that. are I... the raids are fun, dungeons are fun. But Oh, by the yeah. way, before I forget, uh the Felwinter, the new exotic, it can one shot bosses. Like there's a glitch right now that lets it one shot My bosses. So threat, if you want to uh What's the word I'm looking for? If you wanted to cheese no, no. There's a I'm word not for it. so My much word. You see, when it comes to RL so, craft, I don't it's mind. the end of everything. Because yeah. I thought after just the Red War we'd have a that bit of a goes. break. Right. I'm not giving just up give yet. If nothing Imagine. else, the Vex are methodical. They'd have a schematic of the forest. <laughs> A map, and that map will show where Panoptes is. There's only one place they could possibly store that much data. The Pyramidian on Io. All right. So I accept the quest, but yeah. So I don't particularly care for cheesing things. So, I mean, Destiny, Warframe, there's always a conflict between the two. Warframe's obviously a power fantasy, and Destiny 2 is also a power fantasy. I've, I've also learned that Destiny 2 has a lot of aim assist, and that kind of ruins a bit of enjoyment when it comes to getting actual, you know, shots, right? You get an actual right. good headshot, you're like, wow, I did something cool. No, no, that's not 100%. You, you have a bit of aim assist there, and then you're kind of like, Oh, okay. <sighs> I want to say I have something to talk about further, but I think I'm just too brain dead at the moment. <laughs> I feel that, bro. <laughs> I, I love, hate Destiny, you could say. But I've already said it's really just a grind that gets boring. The story content is good. Mm -hmm. And you know, every game expires at some point for somebody. But hopefully that doesn't come for me for another four years. But we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't. I know you are very gift giving and all. <laughs> but what you mean? But another reason, and a big reason. Why I can't always consider getting DLC is because I don't always have money readily available to do so. I got you. See, I, I don't have a job like most people. I like to do my creative works and dabble in art and whatnot. And I don't particularly sell that stuff either. So maybe someone might have an interest in it. They might actually... It'd be something that I do later on, you know, as a job or something. Right. But other than that, I'm not always readily available to down buy a new DLC for when it comes out. <laughs> Hence why I mentioned that you're always so gift givey. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> we won't talk about that in here, okay? Yeah. Other than that. That's just my personal feelings. I do enjoy making the videos, and I will get this story done. Because campaigns are nice. 
No doubt about it. They're good quality. Top notch. Yeah. A little uh, short, but... And that's the only disappointing part about these two current stories, is that they're so short. But, uh, I've let this drone... Uh, I've let this go on for long enough. And you're pushing me around. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Make me sound bossy, I see you. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed. I've added my own little input. It might not be, you know, very fruitful of an input. I don't think. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm tired. I'm ready to go to bed now. So, <laughs> what I say could not be 100% accurate. But I know for a good majority, like grind, is not that enjoyable. The story is good. Yeah, I'm just a little delirious, so I'm just going to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next episode. All right, peace out.